In this problem, we're told to determine the moment of inertia of a 10.8 kilogram sphere of radius 0.648 uh, meters when the axis of rotation is through its center. So in order to solve this problem, let's write down what we're given first. So what are we told? So we're told the mass of our sphere, right? So the mass of our sphere is 10.8 kilograms. And then we're also told the radius. So the radius is going to be equal to 0.648 meters. So they give us these two objects, and so or these two uh, variables, right? And so what we're trying to do is find the moment of inertia. So in order to solve for inertia, there's going to be a bunch of different equations depending on the type of object, right? So the type of object that's rotating. And so I recommend looking in your calculator, in your textbook, right? So in your physics textbook, or if you can just look up on Google the different types of equations for rotational inertia. Right, so it just depends on the type of objects. And so this object, it's going to be one where the axis of rotation is through its center. So there's going to be one where it says that. And so essentially, the equation that you would use for when the axis of rotation is through its center is going to be this formula right here. So inertia is going to be equal to 2 over 5 times mass times radius squared. So it's just a different depending on the type of object. Uh, this is going to be the one for this one. Uh, but yeah, I recommend just going in your textbook. It's going to show the different equations. And it'll specify when you use it, but this one's going to be used for when the axis of rotation is through its center. So all we got to do is just plug in the numbers to solve this. So 2 over 5 times the mass, which is 10.8, multiplied by the radius squared, which is 0.648 squared. And so if you go ahead and do this, right, just plug in your calculator. So 2 over 5 times 10.8 times 0.648 squared. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 1.8139 and so on. I'm just going to round to 1.81. And then it's going to be in kilogram, right? So keep in mind, this is kilogram and then this is meter squared, right? Because this is distance and then this is a mass. So it's going to be kilogram meters squared. So 1.81 kilogram meters squared. So this right here is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.